Good morning. Test, test. Good morning. Can everybody hear me okay? Why can't I hear you? Uh, let's try this. Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Test, 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 test. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jose, and today we're going to talk about search engine optimization. Uh, it sounds complicated, but I promise it's going to be easy stuff. Um, if anyone has any questions or wants to um, have their site be used as a you know kind of a test subject, I'd be glad to go ahead and do that. We're also going to be recording today's session um, so that if you miss anything, <clears throat> you can go ahead. Excuse me, you can go ahead and uh, watch the video later. We'll put it on YouTube, uh, and everyone can enjoy it. Uh, so again, my name is Jose. Um, been here for a couple of years at Evet Sites. I don't have any veterinary experience, but I have played with computers a time or two. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how we can um, we're going to do some really general information on SEO, and then we'll uh, dive a little further. We actually have two sessions on this subject. Uh, I think next week we're going to dive more into the uh, the online presence, and I'll talk about the difference. There's there's two big areas of SEO, and the first one's gonna be the stuff with the website. So uh, without further ado, I guess we'll just jump on in. Okay, so uh, SEO, as, as we all know, is, is search engine optimization. If you're not sure about what it is or how it works, uh, basically it's how your site performs when somebody does a search in organic uh, results. So for example, if I type in, um, Veterinarian in Midtown Sacramento. I'm going to get some. Uh, I'm going to get some results here. Uh, this here at the top is an advertisement. Somebody paid for this. This is not part of the organic search results, so this doesn't really count. Uh, nor does this one here. This is also an advertisement. Sac Broadway Vet. These guys have paid Google so that in case a certain search term comes up, uh, this is going to come on there. So that's not really. SEO, you're, you're paying for an advertisement. On the other hand, this one here, this is true SEO. This is uh, some results showing up in the organic results, either within the map or within um, what they, what you may hear the term is called SERP. I'm gonna type it in here. Um, you can impress friends at the party. It's, it's short for search engine results page. This, this, all this stuff that appears here, it's part of the search engine results page. But for as far as SEO goes, it's trying to rank right here in the map and on the listings right here. Uh, big, the biggest question I get is, uh, well, you know, how, how can we go ahead and rank high? For, well, we, it, it helps to do a little background to understand how Google gets the information um, for your website. Uh, so. The, the very first thing we should know is that uh, Google is a, a search engine. Uh, they'll go, they've got a uh, programs that'll go out and scour your website for content. All, all websites they'll, they'll go ahead and do this for. Um, you can speed up the process, you can slow it down by doing different things. But in general, uh, what Google does, and you know, Bing does this as well, but I'm just gonna say, say Google for, purposes of this conversation, 
they grab all this information, text, images, any kind of media, maybe a video, and they catalog it. And then they assign it to a domain name. They realize that here at midtownanimalhospital.com, who is one of our clients, which is actually my vet, um, here are, are some, some words, Northrop Park, West Sacramento, these different things here. And so they, these, uh, these terms are then tied to Midtown Animal Hospital. So then what happens is somebody does a search for it. And if somebody does a search for, like we did, veterinarian in Midtown Sacramento, which I understand is a bit specific, mm -hmm. but it's still, it, uh, it's gonna come up because people do do searches that way. They'll do a search for um, you know, just a general area, uh, a, uh, their community, uh, things nearby, you know, things like that. So, um, so that said, how can we improve our search? Well, you know, the first thing is we have to put some content on the site for it to show up. Um, now, this uh, again, like as I mentioned, this is a uh, uh, Dr. Katie Chu is a, a my doctor here. She's uh, yeah, she's the, the head, head chief here. Uh, she's also a VID member. And uh, since she's uh, here nearby, she actually comes into the VIN offices and we, we help her out. Sorry, let me slow down a little. Uh, I just got a message that the audio was cutting out. Um, might happen if I get excited and speak quickly. So, um, so the content, um, we were talking a while ago and uh, I said, well, I know that there's gonna be a new uh, place in Sacramento. It's a new neighborhood uh, based around the, um, based around this uh, arena that they built downtown. So I just, as an experiment, because I'm, you know, and I use her site kind of as my, my test subject, I figured, well, I'm just gonna put this in here, DOCO, which is short for the downtown corridor. Um, in Sacramento, it's, it's kind of this thing where it's, it's right downtown, there's this new arena and all this stuff. Let's, let's just see what happens with that. Well, uh, the nice thing about it, uh, after I put that content in, is that Google uh, found it. And so if I do, They just rocketed right up to the top. Um, now, res your results may vary. Um, there may be other people that are doing this right now. Nobody else has. Um, there's, you know, plenty of of, uh, of, of veterinarians downtown, um, but this is the one that's closest. And uh, because I put that keyword in there, it's actually on the page. It's usable content, and so uh, it's going to help show up. Some of you may have heard in the past that you need meta tags uh, or meta keywords in order to rank. And, and it's, um, it's the, the science, the, the way that Google works now has really progressed beyond that. Really what Google wants you to do is to have usable content that people can read, that people can enjoy, that people can use. So if you, it's better to include, uh, you know, we do, um, you know, we service birds and small animals in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's far better than hiding it somewhere within the, uh, you know, the guts of the page, you know, because that doesn't really help out. You want to be able to go to the page and say, well, where are these guys? Oh, here's some neighborhoods. This will definitely help out. So if, if we have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and, and I'm hoping everyone on this call will call me so that we can set up a, uh, you know, a individualized consult. We're going to have that conversation about what you do, where you do it. Um, and, and I'll help you because I know that sometimes it's hard to look at a blank page and you'd say, well, I, I don't know, we're just a vet. But everybody does things differently and everybody has their own unique strengths and their unique focus. Um, I have another um, 
have a doctor here who does um, in in San Diego. He just started out, and he does mobile slash house call veterinarian uh, support. So as as you can see, he's talking about the things for more senior pets, right? So he's 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 got the focus there. You know, here's here's this uh, nice dog. Here's these old friends right here. Uh, the 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 text on here is really telling people this is what we do this is where we do it and um, now we have ideally we would do a little bit more than the surrounding areas if it were up to me i would get the actual individual specific communities because that's what people search for uh, and so that's that's something that if you're you know taking notes down um, maybe write down it doesn't have to be many maybe a half dozen communities near you that you really want to focus on. And then what we'll do is we'll put it in the copy of the website. There's a, you can't put it on, it's not gonna, it's gonna look a little weird if you put it on every single page. We can certainly put it here, like for example, on the contact us page. This is a spot where I think uh, it should have been. Um, and I think uh, I do it here for Midtown. Yeah, so here, North, North Oak Park, Midtown, Downtown, West Sacramento, and more. Um, honestly, they're, they're, since uh, downtown is so, um, you know, it's, it's experiencing a bit of a renaissance, so there's tons and tons of people moving there, so they don't even need to go out that far, but I figured at the time I'm just going to try and help out however I can. So the content is a big, a big part of it. Um, the, the way that the site is put together, there's some other technical stuff in the background, but the real big, the, the biggest part of the, the SEO pie is your content. There's, there's many different um, factors that, that tie into making a site rank. Um, Google calls them ranking signals, um, but the biggest one is content. And so um, I'm, I'm spending time on that one because I think it's important that everyone, if, if nothing else, and if you, know, you have to leave to go do an appointment or someone just came into the, the practice, you know, the, the takeaway is to, to put some content on there. Give me a call and we can work on some content, especially when it comes to what you do and where you do it. Um, location is important. Um, uh, and then uh, also how the site's put together. So let's talk about that for a second. Um, all of our sites at Evet Sites and, and at, at the time of this recording of this, uh, this meeting, uh, are mobile friendly. And what that means is that if you've got a mobile device, uh, you, when you shrink it down, it's gonna go ahead and render beautifully. So it'll show up on your tablet, your phone, you know, whatever other device uh, you're currently looking at the internet for. Right? I think there's refrigerators now that'll do the same thing. But um, when, you're, when you're constructing a, a site, uh, you you kind of have to think about how to make it easy for everybody on every type of platform, and we can do a lot of this for you. Um, uh, but I, I want you to think about it. Like for example, if you go here, we've got these nice navigation windows or, or buttons up here that they kind of show us where to go. But if you're on mobile, all of it disappears. All we're left with is this these three dots or these three dashes up here which in um, tech jargon are called the, the hamburger. And you can click on this, click down, take it to the page, and off you go. But you don't have to do that if your site is designed uh, with SEO in mind. Um, so if you notice, I've, I've put some links here invite you to learn more about our practice. All right, so I'm gonna tap this with my finger. Well, I mean, it's not my finger, it's my mouse, but you know, let's pretend. Now it takes us to the About Us page. And then on the About Us page, it takes us to the Art Doctors page. So those links, and then in, in finally, takes us to the Contact Us page. These links help kind of navigate people through your website. And so, um, it's a, it has a double benefit. Uh, there, it makes it easy for humans because they're able to just kind of tap through and get to the content that they need. And then on, on top of that, it will also help with 
your the search engines coming in to, to to get the content. So let me um let me talk a little bit about Google Analytics, Google Webmaster Tools for, for just a second. These are free tools which we've installed on all websites, or and if we haven't, uh, we will put it on. Uh, these are these uh, Google Analytics, uh, Google Webmasters Tools, which is now called uh, Google Search Console. They basically uh, track the movements of visitors to your website. They'll tell you which pages are successful, content on your page, tons of other information. Um, when we look at the Google um, Webmaster Tools, some of the things that they look for, some of the strengths are the links. So here, internal links are important. Links from your property to your property. Property means your website. I don't know why they use that term. But why do they care about internal links? Well, it's because they, they view that as a usability factor. And if you're able to get from one location on your website to another, that's good. Their programs are happy. You know, the program is, is, is goes out, finds a link, you know, finds some content, continues on to the next. Um, I'm not sure. I know there's a couple of people on the call, and some may have showed up late. For those that showed up late, I'm going to be have a, I'm going to have a recording of this on YouTube later, so don't worry about you know missing too much. Uh, so, uh, and you can put this in the chat. Has has everyone here been to an IKEA? Um, I, I use this analogy a lot because they've got the little arrows. Um, so if you've if you've been to an IKEA and you've seen the little arrows on the floor, they they want you to go a certain route. Now, uh, I've got uh, I've got a couple of kids, and we know the shortcuts now to get straight to the toy section or to the food. So sometimes we'll just go there just to eat. You know, they've got a you know they've got an awesome cafeteria, so we'll just we'll just kind of not we'll ignore the the, the, the arrows and go straight to what we want to do to where we want to go. And so it's the same thing with. Um, it's the same thing here with your links on your website. You want to be able to get it so that people not just can you know click on this stuff to get to where they got to go, but they can actually click on content, right? So they're going to different things. You click in there. This is our site. We're, we're making it easy. We want you to sign up. Um, you could use the navigation buttons up here as well. My point is that the links will help um, help you get people to that content, and it'll also help Google find that content. And that's, that's important. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to talk more about this next week, but um, there's another one in here, external links. Now, you may have heard about link building, um, you know, uh, marketing, offsite SEO. The other half of SEO is the stuff that that isn't on the actual website, but connecting links to the page. So right now, Midtown Animal Hospital here has 1,611 links to it. And where are people linking from? Places like Yellow Pages, Yellow Book, WordPress, Foursquare. Um, a lot of these ways, looks like there might be some, some directions there. Um, no idea what that one is, uh, but there's different directories. And, and so what's going on? Oh, news and review. So maybe there's some sort of, uh, let's take a look. Oh, look at this. So they won something. Best of Sacramento, shopping and fashion. So here's a link and somewhere in there, or if we do the search for Midtown, there it is. So they won this award a couple of years ago. This link is pointing to them. And Google is saying, all right, thumbs up. We like this. And this is great because the more of these that we have, the more it, it's both quantity and quality, right? We, we have all these different pages referring to um, the, the website, and that'll help out. Think of it as, uh, like your word of mouth. I'm sure each of you that's called in today has clients, um, friends, acquaintances, people that can vouch for you. Yeah, Dr. So-and-so is great, or you know, um, 
you know, they, they do good work or, or you know, here, take, take their card or you know, I'm going to write down their website for you. All of those references in the real world translate into you know, good, uh, people coming in, um, giving you a shot based on the strength of the referral. Likewise, in, in these links coming into your site, these are also based on the strength of where they're coming from. Uh, yellow pages, yellow book, these sorts of things are, are going to give you a little more oomph than, oh, I don't know, um, make it local.com or something, you know, some of these smaller pages. But that's okay. They'll, they all count. Every one of these counts. And so um, we'll, we'll talk more about that next week. That has to do with building more links, building more referrals. Uh, getting reviews, you know, that sort of stuff. We'll, we'll delve more into that. But uh, I figured I'd show it since we're on this page right now. That these, this, these links, these, this connectivity, these are things that are important. All right, I'm gonna take a quick second to sip uh, some water and then does anyone have any questions about anything that I've covered so far? All right, and you can always interrupt, or if it's not even interrupting, I mean, we're here for you. So uh, if, if anyone has any questions in, at any point, please let me know. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the uh, more about this links in just a second. Um, I'm going to talk about a, a silo. Um, when you're putting your sites together, and if you look at the site right now, maybe it isn't this way, uh, again, I'm, I'm telling you this stuff just so that we tell you here's places where we can fix it and we will do the heavy lifting. But I also want you to see it so that way it'll help you when you're looking at the site go, oh, we should work on this. This is a, this is a pretty stripped down site. There's not a lot of content on there. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five top level menus. And then we've got, you know, maybe a half dozen or so um, sub pages on there. Uh, a silo structure is something where you put the content into, uh, you know, like grain silos or wheat or rice or whatever. You put them in these little columns. Um, and even if the menu goes sideways, the, the point is that you have them grouped according to the main idea. So in this one, uh, about us is all about the practice. It's, I know it's kind of an overarching thing, but. In this case, we're going to put the doctors, you know, the vet techs, the, you know, all the folks that, that help out, a tour of the hospital and your hours. So these are all under about us. The services has all the stuff that they do, right? So here's your store. Here's some boarding, uh, specialist consultants. They used to talk about dentistry, but it looks like they hid the page. Uh, and then there's some general information. You know, here's some forms, the VIN information library. Uh, which we have updated. You may have gotten an email about that. Uh, links to other websites. It's kind of a, a catch-all. If you look at your website this way, this will really help, or if you organize your website this way, sorry, it will really help visitors because they'll be able, it's going to make more sense. Um, I'm, I'm going to think of something here. Well, you know this movie is coming up soon. So if we go here, um, they've got their stuff set up in a certain way, right? Obviously they want our money. But so here's the movies, the series, community, and for you know full geekery, they've got this, this other stuff in here. And, and, and they also got the, their little links to social media up here. But there is a, a, uh, there is a, a method to their madness. They've got it set up in a certain way uh, so that they can get you into this stuff. I'm surprised that the store isn't up here. That's interesting. I would have thought that that would have been like the first thing. It's like, well, here, here, buy some stuff. Here's, you know, hoodies or whatever. Oh, here's the, uh, the tickets. So, um, but, but it, and, and same thing with uh, VIN. Um, if you go to the VIN site. Um, they want you to join. Here's the CE portal. And then it tells you all about it. Here's the stuff about VIN. It's got the things in here. Why VIN? All the different people. Hey, I know these guys. Uh, friends of Vin, students, etc. If you can, if you can, if again, if you're jotting down notes, and you don't have to write this down because obviously it's going to be a video. But um, if, if 
if you want to write something down, just think about what are the main areas. And, and, and going back to the content, something that I see really um, as an area of opportunity uh, is the services page. Because we, we give people kind of this generic services deal here, uh, but I would love it if I would see people put in you know, the, spe the specifics of what they do. Um, I, when I first started here, I never knew that there was such a wide range of veterinary uh, professionals, you know, uh, treadmills for dogs, uh, physical therapy, um, mobile imaging, um, you know, just all the different, you know, crazy to me that, that, that there's people you know, jamming around in trucks and, and going all over the place, all the different, the, the width and breadth of the different types of support. And so everybody does things differently. You know, again, um, there's this fellow over here. He's doing just the kind of the, uh, the folks that are um, the, uh, you know, he's mobile and he's serving this, this, this area here uh, versus these guys who are in an established location. If you do boarding, let's have a page just for boarding. This is, this is pretty, Pretty straightforward. I mean, it's only got a couple of, of, of images. What can we do here? Well, we can certainly add more images. We can put in a slideshow. Uh, we can talk about it. You know, having some. This is a stock image. Uh, same here. Maybe we don't want to show the the dogs in the cages. You know, it's not necessarily the, the most cheery image. But maybe um, you know, we have the vet tech smiling, and uh, he or she is is walking the critters down the street. It's a sunny day that that'll definitely help out putting you know maybe breaking them out uh, maybe there's a whole section about surgery or certain specialists or whatever it is that they want to do. so um put you know if, if you have ideas for that sort of thing if you if you'd like me to help let me know um like i said i'm going to go ahead and ping everyone after the meeting uh, but hopefully we can set up a time to individually chat about this and because when we launched the site, there's a lot of, of stuff that's stock, and it's really meant to be a building block. It's not meant to be uh, just a permanent deal. It's kind of like when you buy a wallet. Uh, you know, hopefully, I don't have a, you know your wallet boyfriend or the wallet girlfriend. In. We actually have family members that we can put in there, loved ones, friends, whatever. Uh, so, so let's customize the site so it really reflects your individual deal. Um, and and I, I know we're, we're about halfway through and we haven't really delved into the tech of it, but that's the, the honest truth is that a lot of this is, is about the content. And, and uh, we can deal, we'll do more of this behind the scenes stuff uh, to make sure that things are nice uh, and, and up to snuff for, for Google. Um, so I might jump into a little bit under the hood in just a second here. I'm going to pause for more questions if anyone has them. I guess I'll ask this question uh, for, for you. How many folks here actually uh, do updates on their website? Or do you have somebody else at the practice do it? You can answer privately if you want to. Um, the reason I ask is because a lot of this can be done. Never, but you want to. OK, well, we can help you. So. Um, All right, so let's talk about that. Update the staff page. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we hear about that. That that happens. People leave, people move on. They're on different roads. Let's talk about that. The staff page is a great one. Um, when we have people, you know, again, let's let's talk about the content and what what Google wants. Uh, sometimes people rank well for a site or or a location because of the just the bios. So here, Dr. Choose and UC Davis. Here's another one, UC Davis. Wow, these guys. Are smart. Hey, look, three from UC Davis in a row. So you know, we've we've got some connections here to the local community. Maybe um, we're working on our bios right now too, which is which is funny to me. We're we're working on our bios here because we've got everyone in town for these meetings here at Vin this week, and uh, and so, but it's a nice thing. And we're spread all over the United States. 
but for most brick and mortar practices, um, you've got people that live nearby, right? And so what you can do is you can talk about like this, um, received her DVM, UC Davis, um, you know, she doesn't really say, you know, she lives here. You don't have to say, well, I live in this neighborhood, but you can say uh, resides in um, such and such town, uh, really likes the community, blah, blah, blah. And, and that'll help out because then it'll show up for those, for those search terms, right? So you can only imagine what this one's going to get me. All right, so we've got all the Davis stuff because of that. Hey, but look at this. Oh, no, that's the other Midtown. <laughs> I forget that there's one here in town as well. So um, to update your, your website, I guess I should log in. I'm already logged in now. Normally, there's a little key down in the left-hand corner. You click on that. You put in the username of administrator and then the password. And now you can go ahead and change content. So if I'm going to go in content here, I click on edit content. Now we've got this editor. And if I need to add something, If somebody lives in the Doko, they really don't need directions, but I'm going to put it in there anyways, just because I want to update this. Okay, so I've updated that, and I hit save content. Now it's live. Okay, now I'm going to jump in under the hood for just a second. Can you add when closed for a certain holiday? Of course, we get uh, requests for that all the time. Uh, support at evetsites.com. Um, even if you want us to just have it for a certain date, uh, we can definitely add that. Uh, and of course, we can add promotions. We have people that will have us put something on the front like, you know, Happy New Year, we'll be closed for the holiday, whatever. And then, and then we'll just set a reminder internally and we'll take it off after a while. So yes. Send those requests in, support at evetsites.com. Okay. So, um, I'll walk you through the process here of updating a site and letting Google know that it exists. And really, uh, uh, if, if this were a conversation between us, it would be just you saying, well, Jose, put in Sacramento, North Oak Park, West Sac, and also uh, include another image. We're, we're, we want to change this image of the dog, and the, or, or, I'm sorry, this, these guys uh, on, on the computer. OK, well, let's do it. Double click this image. Uh, let's see here. What do we have here? We've got the stock images here. Go to Evet Sites. I wonder if they have more. Oh, well, these guys look. We'll put these guys in. Kind of festive. Put them in for the holiday. How about that? All right. You may have noticed also that if I put this image description in here, there's some text. Uh, what this is, is, is called alt text and, or, or the meta description. And if you move your mouse over, you'll see it appear there. So it'll also rank for those search terms. All right, we'll save this. Uh, if we go to edit menu, uh, you'll see a title, a slug, and a description. Uh, 
All right, so let me just show you a couple of things here. I'm gonna try and slow down because sometimes I get uh, excited about this part. All right, if you do site colon and then your domain name, and you put that into Google, you will see everything that Google has currently indexed or cataloged or in their database for your website. Uh, in this case, you know, we see services, links, or homepage. And hey, look, here's the contact us. All right, so what I'm going to do here. Sorry for all the windows. Can everybody see all of them? I hope so. Okay, can you see, I know there's a mess of windows. Can everybody see the three that are in here? Um, so I've got site midtownanimalhospital.com and then also one that says contact us or do you only see the home page of the map? Okay, great. So if you look here, this long thing right here, this long blue line is called the title. And again, we get to this via edit menu. This is a nice long strip that can kind of can kind of show you a, a real short snippet about what this is about. So here's an employment page, right? Sacramento, California, employment, Midtown Animal. Contact us, hospital hours. I mean, you see it right at a glance. And then if you if you delve a little further, there's more information contact info and driving directions. And look, it's the same stuff here. So the, the, the title should match the description. The description should match content on the page. You do not, and then I repeat, you do not wanna just stuff keywords in here willy nilly. You wanna have conversational English in here so that people can read it and you're, you know, just like we're having a conversation here. Well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of prattling on, but you, you get what I'm saying. There's, there's a, there, this is, it's not just dogs, canine, feline, distemper, shots, you know, things like that, but it's actually, here's driving directions, we take care of animals, we offer this, that, and the other. So if you put that in here in the description, you know, that'll definitely help out. Um, and each page should have, um, if, if you do this search, each page, each title should have three elements the name of the hospital, your location, what the page is about, right? Ours, Midtown Animal Hospital, Sacramento, California. Contact us, driving directions, Midtown. Specialist consultants, you get the point. So, uh, and how do we do that? Well, I'll, I will show you. This page has, uh, Put it in here for everybody. This page has a little how-to on it. Um, you can view it at your leisure, but basically it just tells you how to go ahead and update them. Um, hey, look, I use Midtown. The doctors, there's a certain level, and then it'll also show you how it displays in in Google. Um, and so it's 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 uh, we can do most of this for you. I don't. I, I'm just showing it to you so that you can see that. Those on the call, sometimes I get a big range of folks, sometimes people that are, are really hands-on, and there's other people that want to, that they're hands-off, and that's fine. We'll, we'll help you. We'll meet you, you know, halfway or three-quarters of the way, we'll, wherever we have to do to, to get the site to work. Um, but I want to show you this so you can see that we've got these tools, and this interface is actually really nice. Um, I've used WordPress. I've used Weebly. I've used other. Um, content management systems. 
And this one's nice because they're all in one spot. So this will hopefully help out a little bit. Um, and that um, you know will help you when you're you're putting your pages together. Okay. So I know that we've talked a little bit about content. We've talked about your locations, the services, things that you want to put on your website. I want, just for fun, since we've got a little bit of time, I wanted to show how I've updated this. So I've updated this picture and I've updated this. Let's let's look to see how Google has this. Uh, If you're doing a search at any point, you may have noticed that there's like a little triangle right here, upside down arrow, whatever you want to call it, right here on the title page in the green. What this is, is Google's cached version. And if you click on it, you see that cached, and then you click on the cached, it'll show you the version of Google's, that Google has of that page for that particular date. In this case, they came by on November 28th. They took a snapshot and they said, all right, cool, here's some stuff. If, if you were, uh, I'm trying to think of a site that updates a lot. All right, so if we were to do like New York Times, they don't even have that because it's constantly changing, right? Video, uh, maybe, December 10th, so this was yesterday. Right, but uh, in in general, most of these don't have the little cast because the, the information, again, is changing so often. So here's you know again December tenth. What they'll do is Google will come by. They'll do a snapshot, and they see well when is the last time we came by? Has there been any changes? Hasn't been any change in a day. Okay, we'll come by tomorrow. Uh, no changes. We'll come by in two days, and they you know kind of push it out, so that in the old days. This is why people would say, oh, you've got to update your page all the time in order for Google to find it. That was before uh, we don't have to do that anymore. Uh, here's the contact us page. Here's the old, here's the old image. I don't have Doco in it. All right. What I'm going to do now, and again, I'm just kind of showing you this for informational. You don't, you don't have to worry about memorizing this or anything like that. Uh, inside of Google Search Console, the Google Webmaster Tools, I put in a URL up here. They will give me the information, and on top of that, they'll give me a thing like this is on Google, it can appear in the results, it's indexed, the page is mobile friendly. Pretty standard stuff. But the page changed. I changed the content. So let's request the indexing. So basically, after you work on your site, um, and if you don't know, um, I'm not sure how many on this call are, are aware, we offer makeovers. There's free of charge. We'll basically redo your site, um, give it a nice look and feel. We'll, 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 if you need a logo, we'll help you with the logo. Uh, you know, just copy all the content over. You won't have to do any of the work at all. Um, you just got to give us the thumbs up or the thumbs down when we have ideas on colors or or the structure or whatever. And if you have sites that you like, that you would like your site to look, to, to resemble, let us know and we can help with that as well. But when we do those makeovers, I'll go ahead and submit them through here so that Google knows, hey, here's a new site, here's a new version. So please take a look at it. Okay, so uh, Google's take, yeah, it will take a minute or two. So there it is, indexing requested. So now we're just gonna wait uh and if next week you rejoin me we'll we'll check to see the status of that um, i don't think it's gonna be right away yeah, so there hasn't Um, next week is going to be the 18th, same time.
we're not going to have one on the 25th. I think some people have it off. <laughs> and then hopefully, I know that there's, this is a time of year when there's a lot of meetings, a lot of Christmas parties, stuff like that. But if, if, if again, if we can if, uh, get together um, before then, we can have some stuff. Yes, you're, you're very welcome. Um, so here's, a, yeah, this is the, the schedule for, for next week. Something, you know, one, one time I was doing this with a client and it updated in real time and oh gosh, it spoiled. It's, it, it was, it, you know, I, usually it'll take, uh, honestly, about anywhere from a couple hours to a day at the most. But I was on the phone with someone and we did some changes to, to, to her site. And then we submitted it in Google Analytics or Google Webmaster Tools. And like, so how long does it take? I'm like, well, it'll take anywhere. Sometimes it'll be faster. You can check now if you want. And, um, and, and it sort of <laughs> ruined me because she clicked on it and it was like, it's updated. She's like, oh my gosh, it's real time. I'm like, no, no, it's usually not like that. Uh, so it, it, it all depends. Honestly, I have no idea why sometimes it's faster than others. I imagine it must have to do with their load bearing on their servers they're trying you know just try to balance you know all the different absolute thousands and thousands of, of requests that they're getting from uh, guys like myself all over the the country and, and the world uh, you know people working on websites and, and all this sort of thing but it, it will update and then we'll see that new information on there uh, okay let's see we've done location image tags Data descriptions. Okay, final thing, and this is kind of a small one, but uh, it's an important one. When you're working on your pages, um, I think a imp really important uh, focus is what your call to action is. So um, it's kind of like, what's your purpose, right? What What's the purpose of this of this call? Well, we're we're having a conversation. We're hope hopefully I can explain some SEO to you, some really basic SEO to you. Uh, what's the purpose of uh, Midtown Animal Hospital? Well, they offer veterinary services you know, to, to people. Uh, Any Vet Sites offers website hosting and, and, and support for veterinarian and veterinary professionals. Your call to action should be an easy thing. It should be easy to find. In most cases, it's as simple as having the phone number up here. If somebody doesn't go to your website and clicks through on all the different things, but they call you, has the site done its job? Heck yeah. You know that's 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 why we encourage people to put their address and their phone number with a clickable link up in your header because that's the first thing that people see. Um, if you've got this beautiful website with a slideshow and all this stuff, and people just come through and they just check to see you know what your hours are, has has the site done its work? Of course, because you know that's that's what people are are, are doing. They're getting the information that they need. Nobody has to go through every single page on your site. But you've got this information on there sort of as a word cloud to, to catch more visitors. So we're building a website to have uh, as much content about what we do uh, in an easy to understand and hopefully a friendly format. And then we've got the pages created in such a way that we sort of, um, again, with the, like, like using the IKEA analogy, we sort of um, direct them. We're gently steering them to where we want them to go. And where we want them to go in this case is to give us a call, right? They can message the care team. Uh, your, your website can also help with some of the drudgery, right? Uh, we, we don't have to, to do everything. I'm sure your front desk folks, and if, if some of you are the folks that are answering, uh, you know, so you know, shout out to you. You're doing, you're doing a lot of difficult work. But the front desk is, de is deluged with salespeople, um, you know, really pushy, reps, um, scammers, uh, people that are going to be late, you know, all sorts of stuff. So if somebody can sit there and, and you, can, you can remove some of that work by doing a prescription refill request or maybe just asking a simple question, let's put some of these forms to work for you. We'll be glad to do that for you. you know, that's that should, that's the, the, the aim uh, of, the, of the website. But the bottom line is making your call to action in other words, you know, in, which in most cases is to contact us, make it easy to get to so that people can, can find their way there, find your contact information, have it be easy and clear so that they can um, get to where they're going. Um, again, 
the call to action here is pretty simple. Sign up now, right? We, you know, you know what, what these guys are trying to have you do. We go here. They want us to shop. Hey, look, there's a shopping bag right there. My bag's empty. Well, yes, it is. So is my wallet. So here's all the different, uh, you know, the things that they're trying to trade us for, for our money. Uh, every, every, every website you go to, uh, let's see, I want to make this one. Again, start your trial by now. They're, they're, they're making it super easy to get to that information. And so again, you have this information that helps kind of expand your reach. It has more information if somebody wants to delve in, but the contact us, the, the sign up now, in, in your case, in most cases, and I haven't checked every, every um, any of your bios or anything, I haven't Googled any of you, so I have no idea what, what mix of, of, of veterinary folks I'm, I'm speaking to this morning. But in most cases, it's gonna be a, uh, something like this, where it's a small animal clinic, <coughs> a metropolitan area uh, coverage. And so I just wanna give them you know, some contact information. And, and, and so if you can link to that, even if it's something simple, like, uh, like on the R team, linking to the contact us page, you're, you're directing them towards you. And that call to action is really powerful and it's something that um, we've tried to, um, I don't wanna say automate, but we've, we've, we've have it on our website so that people can, can we have when, when you first sign up, um, we've got this vertical, it's sort of a template. We've got some stuff built into it, but people will break, up, break it, people will update it with their own content. Um, sometimes the links aren't there, but if you think like that, this is what the site's going to do. You think about the silos again, you know, the, the, the type of information, and then you're pointing them towards this. It'll make it a little easier. You'll have a little less dead ends. Google will find more information because the whole point is to have Google use every little bit of your website as, as uh, you know, for, for school credit, as they say. Uh, every one of these pages is going to work for you. It's not just your homepage. That's, uh, and you know, I probably should have covered that at the beginning of the call, but a lot of people have this uh, uh, notion that it's only the stuff on your homepage that counts and nothing else does. All of this information about us, our services, all of this is, is giving uh, juice to this domain right here. So in that same regard, hopefully you've got content on your site, or at least now you have an idea of content that you want for your site that will help um, your domain name uh, rank better. And then what we'll do is we'll, uh, uh, you know, we'll give Google the information right here, and uh, and hopefully it'll show up. Let's go ahead and check it one more time, just for fun. Yeah, still not. Does anybody have any questions about anything that we covered? I know that that. Um, we covered quite a bit, but there's still actually even more. Um, I know that we just touched on Google Analytics and the Google Webmaster Tools. Um, if everyone here has a Google account, if you want to message it to me, I will give you access to the Google Analytics and Google Webmaster Tools on your account, or we can have that conversation later. But um, basically, we can, it's like, for example, uh, Oh, okay, sorry, I was just talking. I was just thinking. Okay, so here's the vet sites. And um, can you hear me now? So for Evet sites, we've given the, here's a lot of folks that have access to this. 
And so we can do the same thing for you. So if you're not sure if you have Google Analytics or Google Webmaster Tools, message me here. Um, or, or like I said, I'm going to try and call every everyone again uh, sometime today, follow up. So maybe we can have a you know one on one conversation. Um, and then of course I'm going to be here next week, uh, so we can, we can continue uh, the conversation. We can hopefully help your your website do better. It's really easy to do it. It's I um, I'm often surprised that you know how all it takes is just having a chat, we find out, oh yeah, you also do this. Why, why is it on the website? Oh, people know, but we just we haven't gotten around to put it on there. Um, and again here, here's another one. Well, that one has a different one. So yeah, so here's some different uh, testing emails that we have, and uh, we can go ahead and check. Um, I'm, I honestly should do more work on our own website there, but this is uh, this is just a really. There, there's some cool information here. You can find out what it is that people are looking for when they're looking for. You know, a lot of people looking for VIN. Uh, mobile veterinary SEO. Mail Monkey, Vin Mobile, Moz. So as you can see, we can go ahead and we can talk about those those as well for the for the searches and kind of see what it is that people are doing and we can hopefully hopefully help you with your search. Okay, anybody uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'm gonna thank you again uh, for showing up today. Um, I know this is a busy time of the year. I, uh, and um, so I thank everyone for showing up. If, uh, oh, you're very welcome. Yes, and, and you know what? It, I'm gonna put this on YouTube, uh, flaws and, and stutters and blemishes and all. So it'll be on there in, in a few, give me a bit and, and I'll email everyone. Uh, I invite you to follow us on social media. We, we will post updates and things there. Uh, Facebook.com, Twitter.com, Instagram.com, YouTube.com slash eVet sites. Uh, my name's Jose. Thank you again for joining us. Um, and if I don't talk to you before then, then happy holidays to all. And, um, and thanks again for uh, being part of eVet sites.